This video is going to show you how to add a countdown timer to XSplit in the fastest and easiest way. You won't need to download any plugins or use any dodgy websites. But before we recruit a masochist and a girl obsessed with explosions into our party, I've got a question for you. That question is, how many hours do you need to stream on YouTube before YouTube starts effectively promoting your stream? Let me know your answer in the comment section down below. If you don't know, don't worry because I'll be revealing the answer later on in this video. Let's get straight into it, shall we? So here's XSplit, here's the result of what we're gonna be creating here. And this is great because it's all created within XSplit. The first thing you need to do is add a text source. So there we go, add source text then you need to enable script then the script will be a clock or if it's not a clock you want to go to clock then go to this button here then you want to go to this drop down menu and go down to timer and before we get into the next step if you haven't got xsplit already go to jcartarray.com forward slash xsplit to grab your version of xsplit now and you can use code jcartarray for 10 percent off great times now let's get back into it next you want to add the text that you want before the timer and if you want to add some text after you can do that I will add stream starting in and then I'll add a space. So there's a space between these words and the actual timer. Then we'll go down here and here we can actually set the time. So let's set the time to 30 minutes and no seconds and we'll hide the extra zero and then we can update the text. And then here you can see it says stream starting in 30 minutes and this is how it will work out. Then you can come down here and you can change the font. I like to use Bebas because it's just a nice font. So let's use Bebas new. And you can change the sizing. In order to deal with the sizing a bit better, you want to come in here and you want to go down like this so that you can go across and here's the sizing done properly. Next, we can go right back into this. Let's right click this to get this menu up again. If you want to restart the timer, you can click refresh. If you want to pause the timer, you can click stop. So you can click refresh if it goes too low before you've actually started outputting the stream. Then you can click refresh when the stream has gone live and you've got 30 minutes from then to actually get into the stream like so. And you can continually refresh it and stop it and start it and do all that sort of stuff if you want to. And that's how that works. Very, very easy, very, very simple. Now it's time to answer the question that I asked you earlier. That question was, how many hours do you need to stream on YouTube before YouTube starts effectively promoting your stream? The answer is two hours at minimum, three hours is optimum, like the amount of stream time before YouTube starts promoting your stream. So generally you wanna stream for like four plus hours to get the most out of your stream. It's a lot. The reason it's like this is because in my experience, I've seen it take about an hour for notifications to go out from the start of your stream and people to start trickling in. And then two hours from then, more people will have actually seen that notification and then more people will come in. And three hours from then, I think most people are gonna see that notification and then more people will come in. And at that point, you'll be at what I like to call critical mass. At this point, you'll have enough people in your stream, hopefully, that YouTube will continue promoting your stream to other people who haven't seen it yet, people who haven't got notifications turned on, people who haven't subscribed to your channel. So that's how that works. That's why you generally need to be streaming for ages to get good results when streaming on YouTube, unless you have a very, very engaged subscriber base and a lot of people with notifications turned on, or even better, you have an email list that you actually send your notifications out to ahead of time before your stream to get as many people in as possible or use Discord or something like that. Now, that's that. Remember, use code jcartarray to get 10% off your XSplit subscription. If you've got any questions or any other tutorials you want me to make, please let me know in the comment section down below. Check out that video next, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace out.